Hi, my name is Drew Tiagi, and in this video, I'll be going over Heron's method, and by the end of this video, you should be able to do this problem in your head or on a piece of paper very quickly. And so Heron's method was developed over 2,000 years ago by a mathematician named Heron in ancient Babylon. And basically, what Heron's method does is it basically breaks down the square root into simple division and multiplication operations to make it easy to compute it in your head or very quickly. And so Heron's method is actually used in modern computing, a variation of it's used in modern computing and software to find the value of square roots. And in older technologies such as TI calculators or in 3D games, old 3D games such as Quake 3, this method, this exact method is used to compute the value of square roots. So let me start with explaining what the method is. So the method starts with finding a guess for your value. So let's say we have a question, square root of x, and we want to find the value of that. And so our first step, using Heron's method, is to make a guess. And we set that guess equal to a. So this guess should basically be a number that you think is really close to the value of square root of x. The closer it is, the better. But um, obviously, you just want to find a close number that's not to be exact. Then, the second step, and this is the only next step, is all you have to do from here is take the average, well, to find the value of square root of x, all you have to do is take the average of your guess, a, and x divided by a, and that's going to be your estimate for square root of x. And so in other words, all you have to do is take 1 half, and multiply it by x plus, or sorry, a, plus x divided by a. And so that's really the only step you have to do to get a very accurate uh, guess. But if you want to be even more accurate, what you can do, this is what Heron did to find the value of square roots to a very accurate degree. You can also keep doing this process again and again, iteratively in other words. So you can set this value equal to i sub 1, and then you can say, okay, square root of x is the average or estimated to the average of i sub 1 comma x divided by i sub 1. And so you can keep doing this process again and again, and you're going to eventually get to a value that's really close to the value of square root of x. And so to write this formula, if we want to write it in terms of a recursive formula, we could write this as square root of x is approximately equal to a sub n plus 1, which equals 1 half times a n plus x divided by a sub n, where a sub 0 is equal to our guess. And so by this formula, as you can see, the more and more we'll do it, the closer we will be to our value, square root of x. Okay, so let's try doing this problem now, square root of 5,963, using this process. So our first step is we have to make a guess. And so looking at this problem, I want to make a good guess so I can get, you know, a good average and a good approximation value. And so let's say I say, okay, 5,963, I know that 70 squared is equal to 4,900, and 80 squared is equal to 6,400. And so 5963 is kind of in the middle of both. So what if I said my guess, my a value, equal to 75? From here, all I need to do is say that the square root of x, or the square root of 5963, that approximation is about 1 half times this guess, 75, plus this number, 5963, divided by 75. So this was a little hard to in your head, so I'll just say, okay, 5,963, that's basically 6,000. So call it 6,000. And then 75, I know that 75 times 4 is 300. Okay? And so from here, you can say that, okay, because of that, uh, sorry, uh, 75 times 4, yeah, 300. Right, so 300, and then if I multiply that by 20, that's 6,000. So 4 times 20 is 80, and therefore this value should be 80. Or is approximately 80. And just to be more clear what I did here, basically what I did is I took 6,000, and I said, okay, 6,000 is equal to 75 times 4, which is 300. And if you multiply that by uh, 20, you get 6,000. And so the 75s cancel out, what you're left with is 80. 
So that's basically what I did right there. Now we need to take the average of 75 plus 80 and just do that. And so the average of that is equal to 77.5. The average of 75 plus 80. And so therefore, my estimation for a square root of 5,963 is approximately 77.5. And that's how we do Heron's method. And obviously, we could keep doing it here, but just for simplicity, I just did it one time. And so what is the actual value for square root of, thousand, square root of 5,963? The actual value is 77.220. And so if you look at that, we're only 0.28 off, which is a very good number to be off. It's not that much. And so you can honestly do this in your head and get such a close value to the actual value. Let's try one more problem just so we can kind of settle it in. This one's going to be a little bit harder, and it's going to be a little bit more off, but it's also a huge number. So we'll try this one. So let's say we have the question to ask a square root of 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2. So 322,122. We want to find that value. So first step is I also want to make an estimate again, right? So I know that 500 squared is equal to 250,000, which is under this, but then 600 squared is equal to 360,000, which is obviously over this. And so if I'm looking at the first two digits, 25 and 36, 36 is a little bit closer to 32, it's four off, versus 25, which is seven off from 32. And so I'm thinking, okay, maybe this number should be in the middle. I should have choose a number that's like 550, but a little bit over, so it's, uh, you know, more close to this value. And so let me choose 560 as my value, because 560 is close to average, but a little bit over. And so I'll choose A to be 560, and then I'll perform the second step. And so the square root of 3,000, or 322,122, I approximate to be one half times 560 plus that number, 322,000, 122 divided by 560. Okay, so 560, this is a hard thing to do in your head, but if you have a piece of paper, it isn't too bad if you want to try this out. And so an easy way we can do this really quickly is we can say that, okay, 320, 322,122, that's basically 320,000, right, not exactly, but close enough. And then 560, we can break that down into 8 times 7 times 10, and now we can cancel some stuff, some stuff out. So we can cancel out the zeros, so we're left with 0, 1, 1, and we can cancel out the 8s. So this is 1, this becomes 4. And so what we're left with is 4,000 divided by 7. And so looking at 4,000, we can see that, okay, uh, 4,000, so if I want to make 4,000 divided by 7, uh, looking at that, I can do 7 times 100 times 5, that gives you 3,500. Then I can add uh, 4 times 7 times 10, or no, not 4. Uh, I can add 7 times 7 times 10, that gives you 490. If you add this together, you're going to get 3,990. And so therefore, my uh, this value is approximately equal to 77. Wait. No, sorry, it's equal to 570. Yeah, I messed up there. So basically, all I did is I just said, okay, so 7, 7 cancel out here, here. So yeah, 500 plus 70. So 570 is my estimate for this division. And so now what I have to do is I have to do 1 half times 560 plus 570. The average of that is equal to 565. And so my estimate for this value, the square root value, is 565. And so the actual value for the square root is 567.558. So we were about 2.5 off which if you think about it, isn't that bad, because this is a huge number in the hundreds of thousands, and being only uh, 2.5 off is actually a pretty good amount. And so this is a really cool technique that you could use in your head, 
or we could use on a piece of paper like me. I'm not that great at mental math. Um, but yeah, that's Heron's Method. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.